Abby, while Haley didn't say exactly why she's leaving or what her next move is going to be, she's receiving high praise for her role at the UN. It's a great day in the United States. When the news first broke with the president and Haley announcing her resignation from the Oval Office. We will miss you. We'll be speaking all the time, but we will miss you nevertheless. Many top Republicans no were asking why and what will Haley do now? I don't know. Take over the world? I don't know. She's amazing, isn't she? Republican candidate for South Carolina Lieutenant Governor Pamela Evett says Haley has been a role model for women in politics. She was for me. You know, it's just making it look easy. She was a mom. She was an accountant. She stepped up. She heard a calling. She has my vote. Former U.S. Ambassador to Canada David Wilkins was also stunned by the Haley announcement, but expects her to reemerge on the political scene. She's an exceptional uh, individual and uh, leader, and I think uh, there's just going to be a lot of opportunities for Nikki Haley in the future. Haley says she has no plans to run for president in 2020 and will support President Trump. Political analyst Chip Felkel says, for now, Haley has plenty of options. Companies with international exposure would love to have the, the ambassador to the UN on, sitting on their board because of the countless relationships she's developed just in the two short years. But Felkel believes Haley may also be trying to distance herself from the administration. In the event there is trouble from Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller that could jeopardize her own career. But for all the speculation about Haley's future, she says she simply needs a break after six intense years as South Carolina's governor and two years in the United Nations. Michael?